Well, here we go developing this 35 millimeter film in, in a rondix tank simply cut the end leader off the film and attach it to that central core and it's simply dropped in place along with the cassette holder remember this tank has no central spiral the film simply moves on itself as it's being developed in the light tight tank so that's the lid on now you can either add developer at this stage which I normally do but I'm not doing in this case or later and now the film is simply wound into the tank from the cassette and then that you wind and wind and wind until you feel that it can be wound no more because that means that the entire film is fairly tight on the central core that, that's it now that's stopped now you can't go any further and so at this stage you add the developer as I say when I normally use this tank I wind the film into the developer okay we start timing and then move in the opposite direction and the film is now winding back on itself and being agitated in the developer the whole time you keep winding and winding until you feel the resistance again now it's wound on the inner core and we reverse the direction and carry on for the entire period of development and fixing and reverse again tank is really so simple and then about 15 seconds before the end pour the developer away still keep turning then the rinse water is poured in turn the handle for one complete cycle in other words so that all the emulsion gets a rinse and there we go, there we go for one complete cycle turning and reversing again for the entire fixing time fixing time over
then I usually now wash the films by a succession of water changes sometimes doing as many as 20 which is probably overkill but that can be fairly rapid as the as the handle is turned and the and the water thrown away Rondix was my routine tank for 35mm processing from the late 1950s right through really till the early 1990s. It is so simple to use and I know some people refuse to use them because they think the lack of a spiral would mean the, the film gets um, scratched but I've never had a scratched film out of a Rondix tank, ever. And that's the cassette being cut off. Film clip attached. Grab the end. And that's it, the film's ready to dry. Very, very simple process from what is actually now a very rare tank to find on the second hand market.